G'day everybody, this is my newest two blades that I've added to uh, my collection in the last two days. One's the classic old uh, cold steel Koban, this one happens to be the serrated. So I've got two plain edge, one I've had about 15-16 years or longer. It's had plenty of duty in the kitchen. I got a new unused plain blade and uh, this serrated one just to add to the family. And I got this one today at the Queensland Knife Show at the Ipswich Showgrounds. It's on tomorrow as well. This is from the uh, Dark Horse Forge. It's made locally in Ipswich, Brisbane. Queensland, Australia, and I was after a, um, I don't have a real good purpose utility camp knife, so they had a, a slightly smaller one that was a little bit smaller, lighter, probably about a three inch blade, three and a half inch blade maybe. Um, but I'm a little I'm a little bit biased towards slightly longer blades, especially when I go out into the bush. I just like to have that little bit extra blade length just to keep that little bit of spare sharp edge up your sleeve. Um, this one sort of pretty much ticks nearly all the boxes. I still do like a little bit of a stabby stab to my knives but didn't need it but uh this was the shape that was going it was the best overall sort of utility camp sort of blade made by a local manufacturer that was there today my um, whole my whole point about going there today and buying a knife was i wanted to support the local community especially you know if there's a knife show um yeah, I wanted to support the show, support a local manufacturer, and um, this is what I come up with. So it's a... Um, the steel is uh, Nitro V, stainless. It apparently throws good sparks, and it's got a nice sharp 90 degree, so that should work quite well. It's got quite aggressive jimping there, but feels really good. And it's got these two extra little um, big grooves in there, just to give the jimping a bit of extra contour or a border. It's got this hole here. Not sure exactly what that's for, but. I'm sure you can come up with something. Maybe pulling a nail or something like that, I don't know. Um, the blade stock is 5mm thick, or oh, that's what, 290 ish there? Or is that 190, 200 thou? It does have a lanyard hole in the underneath the scale here if you want to drill through the handle and these scales do remove by taking out these stainless screws uh, overall blade length five inches uh, cutting cutting length was four point Nearly 4.4 inches. That's 112 millimeters for the cutting length of the blade. Uh, the handle material is an Australian hardwood. What what is it called? It's a um, ringed gidgey, ringed gidgey hardwood. Allegedly, it's the second hardest wood in Australia. So 
they had another one that was the same knife, except the other one had a, um, a full swedge, a full length swedge up to the top of the clip here. And it also had Tasmanian hardwood handles instead of the Gigi. But I thought for the battening purposes, I'd keep the full full straight spine all the way to the all the way to the tip. It's fairly sturdy even all the way to the tip, especially when you can um, compare it to the the Koban. So yeah, um, this was $350 Australian, and it comes with a, um, a leather sheath, not bad at all. So um, I might do another video in better light conditions, this was just a little emergency, special hello to Grugs, he asked me to do a video on my newest purchase, so this is it. G'day to Donovan and the rest of the usual crowd. Wyatt and the boys. Okay guys, over and out.